Article 124 of the East African Community Twitter says member states shall cooperate on regional peace and security matters. However, the rapid increase in the number of unlicensed small arms and light weapons in the region threatens peace and security. East African Legislative Assembly members, their hands raised in fear and frustrations, are worried. Movability of small arms and light weapons continue to escalate armed conflict, sustained poaching and cattle rustling, abet with terrorism and other serious crimes. Globally, there are an estimated 640 million firearms in saturation, including 100 million in Africa and 30 million in sub sahara Africa. Only about one in four guns is in the hands of security operatives, with the rest in the hands of civilians, including many unlicensed firearms. They are in the hands of civilians. You can imagine civilians have more arms than our armed forces. So this is really a serious, a serious threat. Yala MPs say regional governments must do more to prevent a security crisis. So those who are enforcing law and order own a smaller percentage of the arms and yet they are expected to enforce law and order. If it is a fact, which I believe it is, with the clarification of the committee, we need to put it clear. The report reveals that the illegal trade in small arms is worth a billion US dollars Every year. There is a new emerging urban illegal arms cartels in our cities. We are facing it in Kampala. We are facing it in several parts of East Africa, whereby armed gangs hijack people and begin to demand contraband. Countries with some of the highest number of guns in civilian hands include Somalia, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi and Sudan. Uganda, which shares a border with South Sudan and Kenya, is also affected despite efforts to disarm the Karimojong. 41,000 guns from uh, civilians was removed from the Karimojong community. And that has made them more vulnerable to the other communities that are still armed. So the call is for us to have comprehensive disarmament in the whole region. I would like to urge our presidents to include the Republic of South Sudan, the Republic of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and also Ethiopia in this disarmament uh, initiative. Recently, President Yoweri Museveni and his Kenyan counterpart, Uru Kenyatta, signed a pact allowing the two countries to cooperate on disarming the two Kanan Pokot communities of Kenya, who continue to wreak havoc in Karamoja. The 2004 Nairobi Protocol for the Prevention, Control and Reduction of Small Arms and Light Weapons agreed to control cross-border movement of guns. The protocol also calls for complete disarmament by 2020, but this commitment is unlikely to be made. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.